Hello everybody, this is the official DJ Super Eve Man and welcome to part 8 of my Let's Play of Far um, The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Sorry, I only said Final Fantasy. Uh, it's because I was watching a speedrun. A speedrun of uh, Final Fantasy 9, which was done in 9 hours and 28 or so minutes. Crazy. Uh, wow, a palace of wings atop a field of clouds? How elegant. But that's not our first concern. The monsters here are pretty tough. Watch your footing and make sure you don't fall. Now, you may notice Link's tunic is blue or purple. I don't really want to look at it. I never hit myself down in my lower regions, but down. Hmm. I think, no, I should be fine. Nothing too serious in the region. Right. So, here we are going through the um, Palace of Winds. Going through the Palace of Winds to claim the last element. Last time we went and saw the ghosts of the king, as well as something else that's a bit lost. the uh, sword. Oh no, um, the arrows. Oh, thanks for that. You know, I didn't remember you can't use the arrows when you're using this ability. Remember, I haven't got the key, so I can't jump. Now, the reason I'm saying that is because I did do part eight um, not too long ago. Like, last night. But unfortunately, well, the, the Let's Play would have been uploaded by at least the 22nd of February but sadly enough that wasn't the case because Dippy Me oh hang on sorry there's a fluffy cloud floating here it looks awfully comfortable yeah, Dippy Me didn't think. Uh, uh, of what I was doing when I was transferring the commentary over to my laptop. So I record my commentary with my phone's voice recorder. And while I'm. Yeah, so I can record my commentary.
No, we are groupies. I guess that'll do. Hmm. Yeah, um, the commentary for part 8 before. I transferred it, or thought I transferred it to my laptop. And I thought, right, God, now it's on the computer, now I can delete it off my phone. I deleted it, I went back to the file that I had put the commentary in, and it wasn't there. I had not actually transferred it. So, I'm doing part 8 again. And hopefully I'm praying this time, I will do a lot better. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do know what I'm doing. I have gone through this area before, even prior to doing this Let's Play. As I have actually played this game before. But, I've never actually finished it. Weird, right? But I've never done a Let's Play... But, but I've never finished The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Where you'd think I would. There's a strong gale blowing here. Try not to get swept away. And hold on to your hat. I'll try to bear that in mind. We stomped on it hard enough, it might flip over. Yeah, I ju that just reminded me of something that I uh, accidentally forgot. About. I know, right? You know, me knowing <laughs> what to do on this level, you know, this place, how to go through it, and Forgetting about getting that chest that was not too far away. Now we should still. Hey. Come on, there's gotta be a way. be a way back once I come across um, the what are they called? War Masters. That's it. I mean they're called War Masters but they come down from the ceiling or they walk on the floor. Now if that is something you can understand then you know, please do. Tell me how that makes sense. Because right now it doesn't make a blind bit of sense. Up with fire, here we go. 
until we see the War Masters. But yeah, I have played this game before, but... Oh, crap. That oh crap wasn't actually part of the theme, from what I was going to say, but... I made a little... boo-boo. No, baby language, right? Hmm. Not good. Played this or finished this game before. Like, how do I never? How could I have never like finished this game before? I think it's because I got to Vati's Palace. Oh no, 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 not Vati's Palace. I mean, Dark Lagoon Castle, and then I must have. Played something else or did something else that completely. Uh, I can't remember. Well, I, can't, I don't know the word. policy trade as well. Well that was unfortunate. to Dark Hyrule Castle, but I never started going through it. I don't know why. Although, as I did say, <sighs> why am I yawning so much? I must have gotten preoccupied with something else and completely forgotten to play the rest of the game. Sometimes. 
But anyway, uh, not too long ago, the event Valentine's Day was around. <clears throat> that was really bad for me. I, I don't like Valentine's Day because uh, I'm single, you know? And when I was at work, I was like, you know, asking how everyone else's Valentine's Day is going, you know? Even though the HCAs were at work, or the nurses was at work. But, you know, most of them were like, oh yeah, it's going well, you know, except for being here. And others were like, well, there was one um, nurse girl, um, but I kind of liked. You know, she, she, um, well, you know, a lot of them are very pretty and beautiful. But, you know, I thought maybe, you know, Valentine's luck might happen. You know? But I'm just asking, you know, how their uh, Valentine's Day is going. Are they enjoying it? And this one girl that I, you know, I like, uh, she said about. It would be, but she, you know, she would have it someone to spend it with. But her boyfriend is over in Afghanistan, apparently. But before Valentine's Day even happened, she didn't say that. Like she had a partner. I was like, you know, I hate being single. She's like, yeah, I know the feeling. I'm single too. And I. I and then when she said obviously about Afghanistan, that may be, you know, a bit like, huh? But then I was at work today, and I've seen her. But obviously I, I was going straight to, I think it was a um, domestic cover or something. Ah, crap. And I overheard her saying about this guy, you know, that you know, she was worried that he was going to be asking her out or something, you know, she was like, yeah, but he's like, ew. Now, my name, my name tag is known as Louise, so it might not be, I might not be the one she was talking about. But at the same time, I feel that she was all about me. Now I could be reading into it wrongly, but you know, she might have been out in a town or something, or it was a patient or a visitor, and she was like, "Do you know?" I probably am thinking, you know, the wrong thing, or reading into it that wrongly. But the weird irony is her name is Amy. Now, a long time, well, not a long, what, well, like a year or so ago, I was. I fell in love with a girl called Amy. Now Amy the same girl. Because this Amy has got dark hair and she's a hit and you're a nurse. Or a staff nurse or something. But anyway. This other girl I fell in love with. She said this not the same thing. She just said she's she would never like me any more than a friend because I'm not basically her type. I 
learn not to kind of like girls with the name Amy or Chelsea or my problem is I never find anyone who's actually interested in me like at all most girls I probably would like probably think of me as E. I don't know why. I mean, I would say it's my good looks, but I don't really think I have good looks. And that kind of um, hint of lack of self-confidence should have been... Uh, I wanted to go around in circles for it. But yeah, me thinking of myself is E, like, in a way. Um, not because of what I am or trans or anything. I, I just, I don't know. I think, I don't think of myself very highly because, hang on, oh, I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but I'm no good with heights. Wait, hold on. I think I see something down there. Uh, I guess that means we have to take the plunge at the wall. Let's see if I can use this boom right now. Oh, that doesn't work. stuff with but yeah because I get rejected a lot by women how much farther do we have to go this place goes on forever and there is no point in complaining about it we must press on after all how much more could there be come on think let's go yeah that kind of has a, a kind of freaky answer to my uh, run. Well, um, yeah, the reason I, ha I don't really think a whole lot that was up like, oh yeah, I'm hot, oh, I'm sexy, oh, I'm gorgeous, oh, blah, blah, blah. The reason I don't think that at all, oh my god, the first time ever, I burned a money. Burn the wrappings of the money. That never happens. <laughs> but yeah, I know. The reason I have such low self esteem or self confidence in myself is because of how much I get rejected. How I never. What others? Well, I'm not what people would expect. No, that's the wrong word. I just feel I'm unattractive to women. I'm attracted to women, like hands down. But it's the women that I don't think are attracted to me. And it ain't because of me being trans or whatever, or like, you know, transitioning, dressing like a girl or everything else. No, that hasn't got nothing to do with it. Because I was never attracted to women. 
when I was living as a male. It didn't matter how hard I tried of making myself look as good as I possibly could on the little peanuts of money I had. It didn't matter how kind I was. How friendly I am, you know, how caring I am. Everything I had thought would work. Nothing has ever worked. I have tried dating sites, I have... Well, I've basically tried everything I could possibly do. And yet still, no woman's interested and the one annoying thing I really hate hearing is, oh, we all find someone someday. And that is, I'm being told by a very beautiful looking girl who I probably could like. Now, if that doesn't get someone down, then I, I don't know what would. You know? That really gets me down. No, not a, you know, a really nice girl, someone I probably fell in love with. Ah, oh, crap. Wouldn't be interesting. Because, yeah, the girl I fell in love with said the same thing to me. A lot of people tell me, oh, be patient, you know, the right one will come along when you least expect it. But the thing is, how can I be any more patient than I have already? You know, being alone or single for eight years or more. Is that not patient enough? Believe me, I, I get quite upset and quite down. I mean, the sign's wrong. But I'm very, very sexually frustrated. I haven't experienced it at all. Now, you know, some would go, oh, well then if you've never experienced it, then what, what's the problem? The problem is that I've never experienced it. The problem is, I want to experience it. And it's not just about sex at all, no. It's also about being wanted, being loved, being, you know, If, if people were to ever ask me, oh, why are you walking in a rain work with a long face? Yeah, I'm a tell But I don't have to wait for them to ask, because I tell them right away. Yeah, uh, don't worry if I if I am um, seem a bit down or a bit depressed or whatever. It's because I'm uh, on my own. Yeah, I'm single. Yeah, been single for eight years. So. I, I just be honest right off the bat because if I'm not honest then I'm just gonna get the annoying questions of oh stop being so up you stroppy you don't be so moody what's wrong with you that, that's the one thing a lot of people would ask what is wrong The truth is, it's because I'm single. And it's easy for some who's in a relationship to tell me, oh, you know, don't worry, you'll be fine. You know, just, just, just be patient, right? We'll come along. 
How does that make me feel any bloody better? I mean, some think I, uh... I'm just being a bit stupid or silly. Complaining about me being on my own single. I'm happy. Or that being single is the source of my depression. But honestly, it, it is the source of my depression. I'm not sure if my depression would ever go, because I would still have that worry that, you know, maybe you know, this person um, just says they like me but probably don't, or, you know, that, you know, what if they leave me, what if I'm not good enough for them, or, you know, those other kind of fears. I mean, I've already done the one thing that I was always being told to do, which was to not worry about finding myself, you know, a girlfriend, just concentrate and get myself a job, and, and, and I have. I've got a job that I know I'm secure in, I love it, and I, I'm very happy in it. But there's that one thing that is missing. I mean, yeah, okay, I'm 28. People say, oh, you're still young. But... I used to think when I was 18, you know? Yeah, I'll get a girlfriend. Easy. It wouldn't be that hard. How hard can it be? Yeah, and I always thought, oh yeah, you know, I will obviously have sex by the time I'm 19 or so. But did that happen? Nope. Turn it here, so I haven't done anything with a woman. At all. I might be thinking, oh, you said you haven't done anything with a woman, but you have never said you haven't done anything with a woman. Now, I haven't. In a sense, I've been with a, um, what is it? a transgender, um, a male to female. Um, yeah, because you got to experiment, haven't you? So I, I have been, I have experimented you know, with various you know crossdressers and singers and trans. But I've they've always been really kind of middle aged and horrible. I mean, when I used to think like you know, about transsexuals, oh, you know, they're really, you know, they, they look really hard, they're very sexy, you know, some of them, like, you know, they blow your mind because they look like a real woman. And, you know, I don't know if I would ever be able to be like that myself. I would try, but, you know. It'd be a miracle you know, if I did look like a real woman you know, who's like turned the heads of every person. But yeah, I I I tried it, but because they weren't like insanely feminine, you know, 
that. It, it just lost. It's like, yeah, I've lost my interest. And I haven't met up with any other trans people, um, you know, like cross-dresser or Tiger or trans or whatever. <laughs> In quite a long time. I've had thoughts of going back and you know, meeting up with someone again. But then it, I then don't want to. But I get scared because you know, I get put off as well. I'm not scared, but put off because of, I always attract the old ones, like in their forties and fifties and whatever. And I'm not even interested. I mean, it sounds bad, but I'm, I'm being honest. So it's like, you know, people will have asked me, Oh, have you been with uh, my man before? Do you, how do you know if you haven't tried it? I'm like, well, I wouldn't ever get rid of a man because you. And I mean that in a sense of hairy body. Gross. Muscles is enough. Feminine, smooth, and, and sexy. Yeah, I definitely dig that. But I really, really want a relationship with a female. But everywhere. I go every kind of way I where I turn and I think oh I might have a chance you know maybe one of these women might be able to help not one is but I say help that doesn't sound very really right it's only bad but one to be interested in and so far, not one. Not one little bit. Not one has been interested at all. I'm always getting friend zoned. And I know a ton of people also probably get friend zoned and they hate it. And I do too. Just seems like you know, women are not interested in me. Which is sad, to be honest. Because I am a very nice and very caring and loving person. Well, if they are expecting someone who knows how to have sex or is experienced, I'm definitely not that kind of person. Because I'm not experienced at all. Because I've never been able to experience. I even thought, oh, maybe, you know, maybe a woman's not interested in a relationship, but maybe friends with benefit kind of thing. 
maybe? Or just a woman standing or something? Um, yeah. Mal... Woman. Interesting. I've tried that, um, you know, site site, um, local fab swingers, um, and not one fucking female is even interested. Not even in the slightest. Now, I'm quite against, um, one night stands and all of that. But, I thought I would try. You know, if they're not attracted to me in a relationship type manner, maybe they might be interested in me in a different manner. But now. I mean, some of my pictures, not as if they're dirty or anything, because they're not. But, it's just me looking like I'm moving, like makeup and hair down, a dress, sometimes. I have fooled some females. Not intentionally, but some have thought me as being female. And they're like, oh yeah, I'd love to have you, I'd love to have you, all of this, love to do all these different things to you. But no sooner I drop that bomb, that I am not female. Oh boy, they are not happy. And oh boy, there is two different sections. Yeah, the, the response I have gone isn't necessarily very nice. They're like, oh my god, oh, you're one of those. Oh, uh, and then I get blocked. It's sad. So it proves to me and proves my own point that I'm, I'm not really attracted to any women. But I still hold on to hope that maybe, just maybe, there will be that one percent. That one girl, that one woman that would be interested in me. I will just carry on here. Oh, hey. That may be one woman. Well, yeah, but I'll give it one more year. And if not one, you know, or if I never end up in a relationship with a female, then I will give up. Now I do get a lot of people tell me, oh no, don't give up, you will find someone in the end. And I was like, yeah? When? Because I might give up on women, 
behind the turn game. Right, I'm not going to go through the map at all. I would just consider going uh, the towers. That's not like an action or anything. Facts of going out with a girl who has abuse. I don't care. I'm welcome. It doesn't bother me. I mean, I've got one. Some of you might judge me for what I've been talking about. You're free to judge if you wish. But you have also have to understand it from my point of view. Anyway, we've done the Palace of Winds. At last, we got all four elements. Let's go revive the Sacred Blade. Yeah, we got a few kin stones to uh, fuse first. Hello. Hello to a syrup. Because I don't think Siroc will have another um, Kinsome Diffuse. Last time I did this let's play, I was able to fuse the clean stone with her. But not this time. Just in case I can never come back out. As I've had that problem with uh, Metroid Fusion. But please, 
Well, that would fuse a kinstone with tingles of her own. Is always telling me us, uh, tell us about the views. That's a lot of, a lot to you, fairies. And I know he'd want me to thank you. In fact, he gave me some crimson pieces that might want you to fuse. Oh, okay. Let's have a crimson piece. <laughs> we don't even have. Let's go find out. some more grass there. And another one. Oh! And another one. That was good luck. Maybe I might actually get some of this here. Some business uh, tend to in here. Yeah. But me ranting about that nurse squirrel, whose name potentially could have been Amy, um, 
I have an... I don't hate her, I don't like, uh, dislike her or anything. I, I've probably read into it quite long. But it's just that fact. Of why her, you know, kind of... Made me feel kind of hurt. But like I said, she probably wasn't going on about me. I just kind of find it slightly weird that she wouldn't really make much eye contact. Well, not eye contact, but really talk to me that much. Or, um, or should I say, um, was talking about what she was talking about when I was walking the past. I mean, most of the time, I concentrate on my job. I just do what has to be done. Because that's what I'm paid to do. Yeah. Do my job. I'm not trying to let anything kind of get me down. But that's not always easy. Ignoring your own feelings. It's only one, no doubt about it. We're going to need some more help. Oh. Oh, I can smell deliciousness. Just on the other side of that wall. Oh, thank goodness. Your help has arrived. But I'm going to need one more person. Go above ground. Oh, I wish I'd wait. 
página. to the wrong place. Tingles bright. No more, no more, but come back again. I promise to find more for one. Problem. Where is that last tingle? 
friendly. I'm gonna slap myself. I'm gonna make things much harder than they are. to get to. to London Ranch where Kingstones will appear.
Kupri the one I want. to Mr. Dave. Mind you, I have never done this. Please send me a whole big waste of time. Ooh, magical bone boomerang. Hold the button you threw it with and use it to control its path.
Chill, Licky, Licky. I like to Licky, Licky. That's the only thing or song I could think of that would actually match that ghost. Being so that will grow there.
Return to the Bird. Okay, let's go to uh, High Wall Castle. Or I will, I will. Let's see who wants to fuse some casings. Yes. 
person, which is sad. Instincts. Go back and see if you okay. Just don't want to go in there.
is a butterfly. I've never seen that before. Let's go and find out what these butterflies are. You can now dig faster than before. Ah. 
that's what they are. faster than before. Suddenly there's no quicker way. swim faster.
Wow, that butterfly definitely is a blessing. Psycho monster.
Oh, hang on. I just like to do that. So if you guys have um, noticed already, I'm basically looking for extra things. more breeze this place would have been if I had rocks key. Thank <laughs> you. 
until I actually get to the top. Two hundred rupees. Ooh. Oh, they're going to create even more work for me. Ha <laughs> ha 
worth it. climb the mountain again. a nice and plan, wasn't it? I get down and then wallop. A big boulder comes falling down on my head. Makes me feel all warm inside. <coughs>
let's go and visit the elemental sanctuary. I thought I'd do a lot of fetch questing. Oh, bugger off. to the elemental sanctuary. The power of the wind element has infused your blade. With the power of the four elements, your blade has become the four sword. Focus power in your blade and release to fire a beam. Use it to break Vati's curse and restore the power of high wind. Ah, the store the people of Hyrule. And the way is open. Yeah, as I thought, you're not allowed to leave. time ago, when the world was on the verge of being swallowed by shadow. The tiny Picori appeared from the sky, bringing the hero of men a sword of light away. With them and courage, the hero drove out the darkness. When peace had been restored, the people enshrined that blade with care. And the force of the golden light embodying Hyrule's princess shone forth upon the lands. <laughs> so, that's what it means. And slow. <laughs> and slow. You really are too kind. First, you give me my magic cap, and then you guide me here. You've been far too generous, but now I no longer have any use for you. Oh, 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 oh. 
Uh, at last, I finally know the location of the life force. disguised himself as the king to search for the life force. When he learned of this place, he waited for us to be forged the blade. If that stained glass is accurate, Princess Zelda holds the life force. Vati will do whatever it takes to steal that power from her. If he succeeds, we may never be able to return the princess to normal. We've wasted too much time. Link, we must stop Batty. different. What? What is this? What's happened here? They've been turned to stone. All of them. The minister and the guards. Everyone in the castle, all just like Princess Zelda. This can only be the work of that evil Vati. What cruelty. Think. We must... Use the power of the Sacred Force Sword to undo this evil! Have you seen how strange the king has been lately? That's because he's not the king at all! It's Vati! He's taken over the castle! One by one, he turned us all to stone! Everyone cursed by his evil magic! Then, the monsters arrived! Even paralyzed, I saw it all! I only pray it's not too late to undo his evil! Ah, hmm? oh. oh, thank you for really restoring me. I feel so much better now. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Now go help the others. your help. Vati took our petrified princess to the roof of the castle. He must be planning something fiendish. You must stop him. Okay. Oh, is this really Hyrule Castle? I can't believe it. What's happened here? Vati's magic has grown more powerful than I'd imagined. But the king and Zelda are in danger. Link, let's go. Yeah, we will. We will uh, continue next time in part 9, where we will deal with Dark Hyrule Castle. It may be the last part. I'm not sure if I'll do any more kinstone pieces or whatever. I'm not sure if I even be able to do that, but 
Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I've been the official DJ Super Rave Man. You've been Royal Simoleons, and I will see you next time in Park Ryan. Goodbye.